If we had the chemical sodium chloride, you might be picturing in your head one ion of sodium attached to one ion of chloride. And that's true if you're thinking small scale, one formula unit, one ionic molecule, but we're gonna think large scale. So rather than having one molecule, one formula unit, we're gonna have a whole moles worth of sodium chloride. So if you had a moles worth of sodium chloride, you would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units, ionic molecules, of sodium chloride. Well, for each sodium chloride formula unit, you have one sodium ion and one chloride ion. So if you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of sodium chloride, you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd sodium ions and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd chloride ions. If you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd anything, we call that a mole. So some people get a little confused and say, well, shouldn't it be if you take one mole of sodium and one mole of chloride, doesn't that add together to make two moles worth of NaCl? And that is not the case. The moles don't add that way. These are parts that make up the whole, kind of like you have two hands and two feet, four body parts, but there's not four of you. So the, part, the particles of a substance don't add together like that. The moles don't add like that. When you see a water molecule, Perhaps in your head, you're thinking H2O might look something like uh, here's H, here's O, and here's another H, right? Something like that. That's true if you're thinking small scale, one molecule. But what if you're not thinking of one molecule, you're thinking of a whole mole's worth of water? Well, if you have a whole mole's worth of water, you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules there. And if you have a mole's worth of water, we're gonna scale up that two to one ratio. So when you're thinking of one molecule, there's two atoms of H for every one atom of O. But if we're thinking large scale, that two to one ratio is also a mole ratio. So we have two moles of H for every one mole of O. If we have one mole of O, that means we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms there. And if we have two moles worth of hydrogen, wouldn't we have to take the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and double it? So if you do that in your head, Maybe you're thinking 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd. And then really the best way to write that number is 1.204 times 10 to the 24th. I'm just gonna provide the answers for the phosphoric acid down below. So now if you're watching this video, might be a good idea, just pause the phosphoric acid, try it on your own, and then unpause this video and come back in a second and see if you get the right answers. So it should be three, one, and four. Instead of three atoms of hydrogen, one atom of phosphorus and four atoms of oxygen. If we're thinking large scale moles, though it's a three to one to four mole ratio. If we have a mole's worth of phosphoric acid, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd phosphoric acid molecules. If you have one mole of phosphorus, we'd have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then hydrogen, since we have three moles, we'd have to triple that 6.02 number. 1.806 times 10 to the 24th. And we'd have to quadruple it for oxygen. 2.408 times 10 to the 24th. 